The key problem is that the brain is a tissue that doesn't recover very well. When it's damaged, it's very difficult to, to restore function. Alzheimer's and Parkinson are caused by misfolded proteins in the brain that produce toxicity, kill neurons and destroy the brain. In Alzheimer's there are two different proteins that misfold and aggregate, what we call amyloid beta protein and the tau protein. And in Parkinson's disease there is another protein called alpha-synuclein. Today the main problem for clinical diagnosis is that the diagnosis is based on symptoms. And symptoms comes after a large part of the brain is destroyed. So this misfolded protein, although accumulating in the brain, it's known that they travel everywhere in the body, through the blood, present in many different tissues, they're even secreted in urine, but the amount is so small that it's really impossible to detect by any standard techniques. The main challenge to track this process is that these misfolded proteins accumulate in large amount only in the brain. So the brain is a difficult tissue to access. You cannot do a brain biopsy for a diagnosis. So the amount of material circulating in biological fluid is very, very small, especially at the beginning of the process. At the moment that they're invisible by any other te technique, we can see them. What Amprin is doing is to amplify this process as it happened on the disease, but instead of doing it in, as it happened in the disease in years or decades, we do it in a few hours in the laboratory. We can detect with extremely high efficiency, sensitivity and specificity, misfolded proteins that accumulate in the brain and amplify them so that we can see them when they're invisible. The dream is to have a technology that can be used for everybody when they approach 50, 40s or 50s and can, we can tell people, oh look, your brain is starting to produce da getting damage and you are in the way to develop one disease or another and detect this process before it produces any damage in the brain, before it produces any clinical symptoms. So that one day we can say, there was a time in which a lot of people develop Alzheimer's disease. Today, nobody really has the disease because we detected early and we need to intervene with a safe treatment to eliminate the problem. We want to help physicians to diagnose patients and we're going to help them to diagnose as early as possible so that they can apply these lifestyle changes. The other way that we can help pharma companies is that we can help them to engage the right patients into the clinical trials, and we can help them to monitor the success of the trial by our technology. Amprion is all about helping people with these devastating neurodegenerative diseases. These are diseases that destroy the quality of life of people. And we're trying to develop technology that can help physicians and drug companies to diagnose people and also develop early detection technologies for Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease and other brain-related disorders.